So I think tips for altitude. I actually, I got given a lot of good tips, which I tried quite hard to, to listen to. Everyone reacts to it differently. everyone reacts differently so listen to what people say take on board some of the advice but also just listen to your body how you're feeling and how you're reacting to it because you know there'll be some people that will come out to altitude and probably be fine within like three days and other people <laughs> like me <laughs> will come out and it will take quite a while uh, especially if you go to quite high altitude so I was over 2,000 meters which is a bit of a difference to being at sort of like 1800. I'd say the first three weeks really quite tough. Like every run I went on, the slightest uphill, my heart rate was like rocketing. I really felt like I was struggling to breathe. It wasn't until the third week running when I did a track session that actually, like it was still really hard work, but I actually had a bit of pace. Whereas all the other runs that I did, I was just like, I'm really slow, I'm not going anywhere. It's hard work compared to what it would be back at home. On the bike, I definitely felt that I had no power. It was only when dropping down a bit to Boulder that I feel like a bit of my power's come back. Listen to your body. Be aware that you're probably going to be way more fatigued. You might have a day where you feel good and maybe push a bit harder and then the next day you'll probably be a bit wiped out. Bear that in mind. I think my second tip would be you're probably going to be quite hungry. <laughs> so someone had said this to me that you probably need an extra couple of hundred calories a day because your body's kind of working harder with less oxygen. I kind of thought, yeah, that's not going to make much difference. But I definitely found, particularly in the first week, hungry most of the time. Definitely did try and eat a bit more, even though I wasn't doing like really intense sessions. probably for at least that first week out at altitude you probably don't want to do any intensity depending a bit on how your body feels and if you've done altitude quite a lot before you might be a bit better and more able to kind of do that but I definitely didn't feel ready to do any kind of intensity in those first couple of weeks at altitude and just kept it all really quite steady with you know maybe like a bit of tempo but definitely nothing like at the kind of proper upper end of intensity. I guess the other thing at altitude is that you're probably gonna be in some mountains somewhere. Being, being up high, mountain weather can be pretty unpredictable. Even if the forecast says it's pretty nice, it might change really quickly. So I came out with sort of summer kit and a bit of winter kit and every ride I did, I made sure I had my rain jacket with me at least um, and probably arm warmers as well, just in case it turned. It's also, I think the difference in temperature as well changes a lot. So out in Santa Fe, like the mornings were really quite cold. It'd probably go down to, I think quite often it was going down to sort of like one to two degrees overnight. and. Um, but then it would heat up to like over 20 degrees in the day. So big temperature shifts, another thing to bear in mind with kit. Final tip would be you probably want to take some iron supplements. Um, again, with the lack of oxygen and generally why people do at altitudes, try and get some more red blood cells. You're gonna need a bit more iron to kind of help with that. Otherwise you probably are gonna be feeling more fatigued than you would normally. He started like a length of high on that last one and he caught me. <laughs> yeah. He is fast and he turns it on. Absolutely rapid. <laughs>